Let's get familiar with Wakelet. First thing you want to do is go to wakelet.com and sign in using your Gmail, Microsoft, or personal email account. Once you're there, you'll get to the dashboard, which is where I am right now. But my dashboard looks a little different because I have made lots of collections. And that is what Wakelet is. It's kind of a hip version of Pinterest, where I make a bunch of collections of things that I'm curating from the internet. So let's take a look at how we do that. So to make a new collection, you head to the green add button. And here is where you'll be able to add a cover image and give your collection a title. So I'm gonna call this example collection. And I'm just gonna add a cover image from their library, though I often make my own as you will see soon. So I'm just gonna use this mountain. And now I have a cover image and I have a name of my collection. Now it's time to start adding things. I can click on this add button and I can paste in a URL, something maybe I found on the internet. I can add text, I can add a link to a YouTube video, I can add tweets, a bookmark, images, PDFs, something from my Google Drive or OneDrive account, and I can add a video. But in this situation, the video is actually a Flipgrid Shorts video, which gives you all the power of filters and everything that comes along with Flipgrid. So let's say, for example, I wanted to add a YouTube video. I could search up, and right now we're doing something on Anne Frank, so I could do a search on Anne Frank videos. Oh, and here's one from the History Channel. So let's say that's one I want to put into my collection, and it adds it to my collection. I could also add direction sheets that I have in Google Drive, and I could and really, there are so many things that I can add here. I'm gonna add one more so we can look at how I can organize this. And again, I'm just gonna do a search. I'm gonna just randomly choose this one, which looks like a cartoon version. Now I have this added. I can change the layout to be media view, which it is right now, or compact view, which just makes them little and easy to navigate. I am a personal fan of grid view, or I could do a mood board. But I'm gonna head back to grid view. Now from here, once I've added some things, I can also change the description, and I could change the image that goes there if it's something that I don't like. So I could edit the image and bring my own in, and I can come down here and change this and say, watch this video first, if I'm making a collection for students. I can also come up here and add text. Now that's gonna put it in my grid view, but I can say this is step one. And maybe I add some directions there so that when I come back, you'll see step one here, and maybe I have a step two with a few more videos after that. Really, you can do as much as you can possibly dream up in Wakelet. I have a post on 10 ways to start using in the classroom, and you can find that here. But let's talk about some of the other tools. I can come up here and change my privacy settings to unlisted or public. And when I do that, I just have to select done, and it will now be changed. And when I have the collection all done, I have the option to come up and share it. I can share it to Google Classroom or Teams, so that's pretty easy, or just use the link to share with maybe an email. And I can invite collaborators, so maybe I will give this code to students to say, everyone add in stuff that you find about Anne Frank that you find interesting, so they could all collaborate into this collection as well. If I wanna edit it later, I just hit edit collection and I can come in here and add in more information as can students. So I'm gonna select done and we're gonna look at what collections can look like from the point of view of you coming and seeing my collections. So if we head over here and this one, by the way, is private is unlisted so we won't see this one but i've made a bunch of collections and i have a page where those collections are and so i've made some for technology integration and i've made some for teaching and learning and then i have some as workshop resources and then student examples but wakelet is an incredible 
resource for the blended learning classroom. I hope this helps you get started and make sure to check out the blog post for 10 ideas on getting started with Wakelet in your classroom.